back I was walking out of Whataburger and I found this of course I thought there was nothing on it so I threw it in my pocket and continued on well today I found it in my pocket at work and decided to check the balance there's fifty dollars on it and it fifty dollars somebody just went in spent the money dropped it and forgot about it so now I got $50 for the Whataburger. And now I'm going to eat at Whataburger. Balance of this GitX card number is $50. What a burger. If you're in Oklahoma and you're thinking about going outside, you might want to second guess that. Although it just went down a degree. So, give it another couple hours. That's the capital. And we're here because they have a cool little park. Let's go check it out. There's a monument right here. This is pretty much just a rock, but it's called the meeting place. in honor of Native Americans. And there's the capital. That's pretty cool. I'm on the capital grounds, which is really cool because they've got this thing, this giant oil rig. And I did not know oil rigs were this big. That's huge. It's not as big as, oh yeah, that's bigger than that Optimus Prime, but still, it's pretty dang big. We got seating everywhere. And there's really cool things to look at, like that oil rig and this other like little monuments. It's really cool. That's pretty cool. There's just like a walkway to the Capitol right over a, that's a bridge to the highway or 23rd Street. That's really cool. That's so cool. And it's right in front of the Capitol. Like, I mean, seriously, the Capitol's right there. You can see that. Yeah, it's right there. And that counts two oil rigs on the Oklahoma Capitol grounds. I mean, seriously. Look at that. Or this one, right in the middle of the freaking street. There's the Capitol. But still, these are right in the middle of the freaking street. Ever since I was a kid, I loved those gargoyle things on top of buildings, like Capitols and stuff. I mean, they're everywhere on these buildings. And that Indian, it's facing the wrong way, but an Indian, it's called like the Guardian, and they just recently put that on there a couple years back. I'm here at the Horn Homestead, which is actually one of the original plots in the Oklahoma Land Run of 1889. And uh, it was 160 acres, but now it's only 10 acres, and it's a museum set up like it would have been back in those times. It's closed now. I am coming back here, so you better stay watching these videos because I will be back here to see what these houses and these barns were all like back in those times I can't I can't even imagine 10 acres being my own property let alone 160 this has got to be a pretty cool museum and I'm so upset that I missed it 
it's going to open only on the weekdays. But hey, I will be back here and I will record it and we will be showing it. So stay tuned. Alright, so I'm just walking to the Myriad Gardens, playing some Pokemon, but it's not loading right. And then I come across this. What the heck's going on here? It's crazy. I've never seen that before. But I have been playing Pokemon. Dang it. Yes! I got another Zubat. That was a thumbs up, by the way. Thumbs up. We do have another skyscraper coming, which is this building right up here. It's called like the Bank of Oklahoma Plaza or something. I don't know, it's supposed to be pretty tall though. That's gonna be cool. I'm thinking it's about halfway tall, or halfway to the point, whatever. Anyways, it'll be really cool. Another skyscraper. Somebody ordered Domino's at this festival, and there's a pizza truck right there. Somebody's a fanboy. I actually had no idea that this festival was going on, and it's dark and loud, so I can't really film in there and talk, but I will go film and get some details around the food trucks, the show, there's a ton of people here. So let's go check it out. Crystal Bridge. Inside there's a big garden with flowers and all kinds of stuff. If you're into that kind of thing, it's really cheap to get in. It's like five bucks, maybe ten. I forgot exactly how much, but it's really cool. It goes over, it's a bridge. It goes over the water, the canal, and it's really cool. Just check it out. I don't think this video is giving it justice, but the Devon Tower looks really freaking cool from down at this point. I don't know if you can see, but this bridge is a double-decker bridge. There's people walking here, there's people also walking up here. I think that's a genius idea. Except there's no normal way to walk back and forth. They're both going both ways, but it's still pretty dang cool. No exaggeration, there had to be a couple thousand people there. I, I was surprised at how many people were there. A lot of Pokemon I caught, and it was fun. The band was actually pretty good, although I wasn't paying that much attention to them. I was focusing more on filming and whatnot, and talking to people, but they were pretty good. I have a serious question right now. Let me know in the comments or message me or whatever. Why do people buy these? They are the ugliest thing I've ever seen. And it's like a hundred grand. Why would you do that? Please, somebody tell me. I'm just curious, because if I had $100,000 to spend on anything, I don't know, I could find something with a little more taste. And no offense if you have one of those, they're just ugly, my opinion live with it. Just walking around downtown at night, it's pretty relaxing. If you haven't done it, you should try it. You had one job. It's really hot today. 
that's not gonna stop me from getting a haircut, project supplies, paper plates. Skating to SMB's burger joint to visit my family. Just a couple blocks from my house. Never been there. I heard it was pretty good. I mean, they sponsor all the radio all the time. So, I thought I'd check it out. I invited them to come out. Let's see how this goes. Still on my way to eat at SMB Burger Joint and I found this. That's pretty cool. Thought it was worth filming. Just stay here with my family. SMB's Burger Joint and across the street is the womb. Which is really cool. That's the Flaming Lips, it's the singer, Wayne Coyne. He, it's our gallery he owns, and he actually has celebrities there all the time. Miley Cyrus did a photo shoot there a while back. Never been in there, but heard it was pretty cool. We wanted to go in there. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Kyle's File. If there's any place I went that caught your eye and you want to learn more about it, check the description. I'll have information about it below. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll get to see next week's episode. Next week's episode, we're going to...